So I said I was going to look into um, SMP and the um, NASDAQ. I wonder if we should look into the JSC. Let's look at the JSC. Okay, so let's get back. We're gonna do pretty much a similar thing here. Um, slightly less exposure. Slightly less exposure. First, he's just gonna buy. Uh, I think that he wants a minimum of one. I'm assuming they're gonna want minimum of one. Nope. Okay. Let's do two. Let's do, let's do, let's do two. Two volume stocks. Or three? How much is three? 319. Yeah, let's do three. Three, and then of course, we're going to assume it may drop from 100. Let's say to 80. To 80. You just buy flat. 300 flat. Keep forgetting. Let's do 3. Let's do four. They're a lot less flexible, but they're on actual volume lot sizes, which is okay. I'm not sure how much I have then. It's three, four, seven. That's sixty. At eighty, sixty. At sixty. We can do five, three hundred roughly. And then at forty, which I doubt it if I get to. But hey, if ever. One might say, but what if we get below forty? I'll stack up on it. It'll be a lot cheaper then. So I'll just that'll be extra money. 40. I'm thinking I have over 300 at that point. Let's just do 10. Let's just do 10. Okay. It doesn't hit the one and a half thousand, but it is what it is. Okay, done. Now I don't necessarily have to worry about this. Any money that I have that's spare, I'll look into another index to diversify. So that's a very basic plan. Again, I'm not saying use this. I'm just saying, one, this is how you can buy the stocks on Brock stock. I haven't bought an actual stock set. These are just ETFs that I'm going to be trying.